In this video, we're going to talk about how to compare fractions, how to determine which fraction is greater. So here is the greater than symbol, here's the less than symbol, and here's the equal sign as you read it from left to right. So let's compare these two fractions, 2 over 5 and 3 over 5. Which fraction is greater? In this example, notice that the denominator of the fraction has the same value. When the denominator have the same value, then all you need to do is compare the numbers on top, that is the numerators of the fraction. 3 is greater than 2, so therefore 3 over 5 is greater than 2 over 5. So keep in mind, wherever this sign opens towards, that's the side that's greater. So the way you read this, you can read it two ways. 2 over 5 is less than 3 over 5, or if you read it from right to left, 3 over 5 is greater than 2 over 5. But this is the inequality that we need. Now let's look at another example. What if the numerators are the same? And what if the denominators are different? How can we tell which fraction is greater? Now here's what you need to know. As the numerator of the fraction increases, the value of the entire fraction increases as well. These two are directly related. As the value of the denominator increases, the value of the fraction decreases. These two are inversely related. So what this means is that if you have a fraction with a very large denominator, the value of the fraction, the decimal value, will be very small. Now notice that 7 is greater than 6. Therefore, this fraction, 5 over 7, will be less than 5 over 6. So 5 over 6 is greater than 5 over 7. Now there are different ways to confirm this answer. One way in which you can confirm it is by converting the fraction into a decimal. So if you type this in, 5 divided by 6 in your calculator, as a decimal you should get 0.83. The 3 is repeated, but I'm going to round it to the nearest hundredth. If you type in 5 divided by 7, it will give you 0.71. So 0.83 is greater than 0.71. Therefore, 5 over 6 is greater than 5 over 7. So Keep this in mind, if the numerator is the same, then the fraction with the smaller denominator will have a larger value. The fraction with the larger denominator will have a smaller value because the value of the denominator and the value of the whole fraction are inversely related. As one goes up, the other goes down. Now let's look into another example. 3 divided by 4 and 2 divided by 3. Which fraction is greater? In this example, the numerator and the denominator is not the same. So what can we do? Well, there's three different things you can do with this case. You can convert each fraction into a decimal and compare it that way. Or you can try to get common denominators and then compare the numerators of the two new fractions. Or you can cross multiply. Let's try the cross multiplication technique. We're going to multiply 3 by 3. 3 by 3 is 9. Next, we're going to multiply 4 and 2, which is 8. So 9 is larger than 8. Therefore, 3 divided by 4 is greater than 2 divided by 3. Now let's confirm it with a calculator. If you type in 3 divided by 4, you should get 0.75 as a decimal. 2 divided by 3 is 0.6 repeated. 0.75 is larger than 0.66, so therefore we can see that this technique works. Here's another example. Try this problem, 4 over 9 and 5 over 7. Use the cross multiplication technique and then confirm your answer by getting common denominators and comparing the value of the numerators. So first, let's multiply 4 by 7. 4 times 7 is 28. 
and then we'll multiply 9 and 5, which is 45. So 28 is less than 45. So therefore, we could say that 4 over 9 is less than 5 over 7. So that's going to be the answer. But let's confirm it by getting common denominators. So what I'm going to do is multiply 4 over 9 by 7 over 7. And I'm going to multiply 5 over 7 by 9 over 9. This will give me a common denominator of 7 times 9, or 63. 7 times 4 is 28. And 5 times 9 is 45. Notice that we get these numbers. So therefore, 28 over 63 is less than 45 over 63. Here's another example. Try 3 over 5 and 4 over 7. Feel free to use any technique that you prefer. So let's start with a cross multiplication technique. 3 times 7 is 21, and then 4 times 5 is 20. So these numbers are pretty close. But 21 is greater than 20, so therefore we could say that 3 over 5 is greater than 4 over 7. But now let's confirm it by con converting each fraction into a decimal. If you don't have a calculator, you can use long division to convert the fractions into decimals. So for example, 3 over 5, what we're going to do is put the 5 on the outside and the 3 on the inside. 5 goes into 3 0 times, so let's add a decimal and let's add a 0. We're going to treat 3.0 as if it's 30. 5 goes into 30 6 times. And it's exactly 6, so we're going to have 0 remaining. So therefore, 3 over 5 is 0.6 as a decimal. Now let's try 4 over 7. 7 goes into 4 0 times, so let's add a decimal. 7 goes into 40 5 times. 7 times 5 is 35. 40 minus 35 is 5, so let's bring in another 0. 7 goes into 50 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49. Let's bring another 0. 7 goes into 10 1 time. So point, I mean 4 over 7 is 0 0.571. And 0 0.6 is greater than 0 0.571. So therefore, we can make the claim that 3 over 5 is larger than 4 over 7. So there's different techniques that you can use in order to compare fractions. Now, what will you do if you need to compare three fractions instead of two? The cross multiplication technique works if you're comparing two fractions at a time. But if you're comparing three fractions, you can convert all three fractions into a decimal or you can just get a common denominator between all three fractions. And let's find a common denominator for this example. And then we could rank it in ascending order. So what is a common multiple of 3, 5, and 6? 30 is a common multiple of 3, 5, and 6. 30 is divisible by 5, 3, and 6. If you divide 30 by 5, you get 6. If you divide 30 by 3, you get 10. So in order to get a denominator of 30, we need to multiply the first fraction by 6, because 5 times 6 is 30. The second fraction, I need to multiply by 10, because 10 times 3 is 30. And for the last one, by 5, because 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 4 is 24. 10 times 2 is 20. And 5 times 5 is 25. So if we were to rank it in ascending order, 20 over 30 is the smallest one. Next we have 24 over 30 and then 25 over 30. Now to put it back in its original form, 20 over 30 corresponds to 2 over 3, which is less than 24 over 30, which corresponds to 4 over 5. And that's less than 25 over 30, which is 5 over 6. So therefore, this is the answer. That's how you can compare and order the fractions from uh, least to greatest.